For the first time ever, Sri Lanka's president, Gotabaya Rajapaksa, has admitted that some 20,000, 20,000 people who disappeared during the country's brutal civil war are dead. It has taken exactly a decade for this acknowledgement, but this is not an admission of guilt. We'll tell you why, but first a bit of background. In May 2009, after 26 years of a bloody conflict, the Sri Lankan army defeated the Tamil rebels. This 26-year-long war had divided Sri Lanka along ethnic lines. An estimated 100,000 people were killed in the fighting and at least 20,000 people, mostly Tamils, went missing. The most crucial role in crushing the rebels was played by Gotabaya Rajapaksa. He was the defense secretary at the time and he is hailed as a hero by many in Sri Lanka. Ten years down the line, Gotabaya Rajapaksa is the president of the country. His statement comes as closure for the families of the missing who have been protesting for years and waiting for some news. Here's what has happened. The remarks were made in a meeting with the United Nations resident coordinator, Hannah Singer. According to a statement from the president's office, Mr. Rajapaksa explained that the missing persons are actually dead. Let me quote some lines. Most of them had been taken by the LTTE or forcibly conscripted. The families of the missing attest to it. However, they do not know what has become of them, so they claim them to be missing. This is the first ever major acknowledgement by the Rajapaksa. So why are they doing it now? Because the government wants to bury this issue once and for all, end the debate and uncertainty, close this chapter. Look at what it's doing. Taking steps to issue death certificates to the missing persons and provide financial support to the families of the missing. This is quite a turnabout, especially coming from the Rajapaksas. But if you look at the timing, the picture becomes clearer. Alice Wells, the U.S. in charge for South and Central Asian Affairs, was in Sri Lanka last week. In a tweet announcing her visit, the U.S. Embassy in Colombo stressed on the importance of a free and open Indo-Pacific and human rights for all. A thinly veiled threat that several issues can be exploited if Sri Lanka bends too much towards Beijing. Now, if you remember, China's Foreign Minister Wang Yi was in Sri Lanka recently. His statement on outside interference and Sri Lanka's territorial integrity, which we've discussed on the show, his statements have clearly not been well received by Washington. Let's tell you what went down in this meeting. As per reports, Alice Wells mentioned four growing concerns of the U.S. Colombo's commitment to the United Nations Human Rights Council, the return of land seized during the civil war with the LTTE, the provision of information to relatives of missing individuals, and demands of accountability by Tamils and opposition parties. So the statement by Gotabaya Rajapaksa should not come as a surprise. In the past, human rights violations have been used to pressure Colombo to distance itself from Beijing. Washington's concerns over Sri Lanka-China ties are deepening again. The Rajapaksas clearly do not wish to take any chances this time.